Hi, this is just a quick video um, to show you what I'm doing with the top of the cabinet that was painted yesterday with the irises on the front. So it's got a flip up lid because it's a hi-fi cabinet and I wasn't overly confident with painting a large iris on, on the inside of it. I'll show you the size, what I mean I'll show you what I've done. Um, it's hard to see. I discovered that the window film that I used um, for the door behind me there has got irises in it. Um, that's it here. It's one of these peel and stick things. I didn't want it all over the square that I've painted in so I used um, carbon paper, just the carbon paper that you use in typewriters um, for taking copies and I put them over the square with masking tape, put the design on top and used a pen to outline. And it didn't all come through, I missed bits because you can't see um, any bits that you've missed while you're doing it. So I took a pencil and just filled in the bits while looking at the... So that's how it's come out just now, um, up the centre of it. And what I plan to do is paint that bit in and then I'll put some lilacs and different colours and then a border around it. So it should be quite nice. Um, so I'll keep the video going while I'm painting in the blue. I'll need to allow the blue to dry probably before I do the green um, or the leaves. But if you're wanting to watch something because you're stuck indoors, why not? Um, so I don't know how clear it will be. But I'll keep the video running just now and then obviously post it to my page. So all I'm using is a blue, green, a white um, acrylics. The white is just to um, get a variation on colour if I want to take the blue or the green down a shade and a wee bit black in case I want a darker blue or a darker green. So I'm a bit croaky today. Um, I'm also using a fine liner brush, if you can see how fine it is. Finer once it's got the paint on it. It's kind of splayed out a bit just now because it's dry um, and I'll just be filling them in with that. Okay, so then once the whole, the whole design's dry, it'll be varnished, um, but I'll do the background, more on the background, so I'll just f fade it out or fade it in and then I'll varnish it all inside. So I'll disappear, I'll put my glasses on and you can maybe watch for a wee bit until you get bored. So as I say, I'll start with the blue anyway. I've got my, my wee palette tree that I bought in Home Bargains for a pound. It's great. Um, quite a lot of compartments, so I've got water in there as well, just so as I can thin the paint a wee bit as I'm going along. And I've spilled it already. Shouldn't be doing this in the living room, but hey ho. So because I've drawn it in, I don't normally draw it in first. It almost more or less be like painting my numbers. <laughs> but without the numbers. So it's just filling in the shapes. Fill them in loosely just now. And I can go back and shade it. I won't take it straight up to the line so as I can see where the different areas are because some of them join each other. really need my glasses for this, it's quite close up. I should have taken the top off to do this, but I had it off for painting and it was quite awkward to put back on my one hand. Um, on my own here with a screwdriver in one hand and holding the weight of it with the other, so I don't really want to take it back off again. If I don't have to.
when it's all just carbon it's hard to sometimes see where one shape should be a colour where the colour changes. It's just basically colouring in now. It's never very really like colouring in between the lines. So this is keeping me away from the shops. I've got enough food in for a week. I hope. And I don't have to go out fighting for food. It's a bit sad out there just now. But I suppose a lot of people are trying to keep their family fed and it's a battle between buying enough and panicking in case you run out, I suppose. There's just me here, so I know how much I need. I suppose that I've never had kids, but I mean, if you're in with kids, I'd imagine they want loads of snacks and you have to kind of, or you maybe feel like you have to have more in just in case. I don't know. It's just quite ugly out there just now. There's a lot of things going on online. Music events, um, exercise classes. A lot of people have been really inventive. Which is probably why I'm doing this because it can be lonely enough at the best of times just being in on your own. But there's a kind of surrealness to it just now. It's not the normal in on your own. It's quite weird. But this could become the norm. So you can see it trying, um, starting to take shape. Oh, door just clicked there, did you hear it? <laughs> Jumped. I should have music on. But I know that Facebook can... Um, delete videos if they've got music on it that you haven't paid for. Crazy. Copyright. Regs. Some of these lines I've not <clears throat> um, traced properly through but I'm just, I'll turn them as I go. The first coat's quite see-through, so I can see the carbon. But I'll go over that again anyway when I do the shading. Try not to do it too thick. Do you know, for a minute there I thought this wasn't recording. <laughs> I had to check. Uh, I was like, have I just wasted my time? It's so therapeutic, this. I think more and more people will be doing stuff like this while they're off work, stuck in. And I've just stuck my hand in a wet bit of paint. But I'll fix that later. See what comes. 
off now. Nope, I'm just going to make it worse if I rub it, so I'll just leave it. Done it again. <laughs> That's what I get for working backwards. I need to wash my hand, hold on. Baby blobs of blue everywhere. That's why when you watch people who are professional artists, they've got a rest that they put their hand on while they're painting. I'll need to make something. These are not the most ornate of irises, they're quite basic shapes. I might change it when I go and do the second coat. When I did mine yesterday, I kind of put a frill on the shape. So I was very brave this morning and did a live in a group, but I was shaking, but I did it. I giggled my way through it as normal, a bit of a giggler, when nervous, but I did it. So maybe I'll get brave enough to do one on my own page soon, <laughs> and in fact I was going to do it now and bottled out at the last minute. <laughs> um. I've done it again, I've painted closest to me first. Do I learn? Gonna make a darker blue for these buds. That's almost black, it's too dark. Where's the other one? Maybe not dark enough. Okay, I think it's dry enough to do some shading. They're not like this in the vinyl but I'm just making it up. The centre pieces I'm going to make yellow even though they're not like that in the vinyl either because that's what I did on the 
the front. And the yellow really pops out. I like to. Are you bored yet? <laughs> going to darken those bits and then put a light streak through them as well. Though I don't know what colour they should be. But you can see it taking shape now. shading them just gives it a bit more sort of three dimension. Rather than <clears throat> the flat colour. Yeah, I'm going over the lines, but who cares? This is the most um, loose I've ever been painting anything because normally I'm a bit OCD with lines. It's working out alright. Just put paint in my hair.
See the white's drying in dark. Just have to keep get over it. Right, I think that'll do for now. Well, there's a bud of mist. But right, that just leaves us with the uh, shades of green. So I'm going to stop the video because you must be bored by now, and I'll show you it when it's done. Okay. Thanks for watching.